I am so tired. <clears throat> I was up late last night reinforcing my protective helmet. I heard the aliens trying to suck up my brains. It was a strange noise like this. <laughs> so weird. Anyway, I'm Zog, here to welcome you to review Sunday, 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 Sunday. The last Sunday in December. So as always, strap your intergalactic seatbelts and prepare for liftoff. My tummy is still full from Christmas. <laughs> I know. I ate so many Christmas cookies. Don't say that word. Ugh. You mean cookies? Ugh, Sabrina. <laughs> All right. I won't say cookies anymore. Ugh. <laughs> Today is Review Sunday. Oh, and that's my favorite day. I don't think I can be too excited about it, though. So. You just rest and help when you can. Thanks, Sabrina. Our first story was all about... Moses. Yes, God told Moses that he wanted him to go and rescue the Israelites in Egypt. They were slaves and God was going to use Moses to get them out of there. That's right. The big idea was God hears us. Because the Israelites were groaning, kind of like you, and crying out to God to save them. Oh, and God heard their prayers. Yes. And the second story continues with Moses and the Israelites as they wandered in the desert. They complained a lot. That was kind of sad. Here God just did this miraculous rescue. Remember, he parted the sea? I know. He like cut the sea apart so the Israelites could walk through and not get wet. And they still complained and whined. I hate to say it, but it sounds like me sometimes. Me too. And the big idea was that God provides for us, even when we don't deserve it. And what about the third story we learned about? That was when God gave them the Ten Commandments. Those laws to help them and us live better. Yep. And the big idea was... I remember that one. It's God shows us how much we need Him. Good job. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. I think Mom still has some cookies left. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> Three Cousins Kids Preschool! <laughs> oh, Phil! Are you okay? Did you get hurt? <laughs> oh, Miss Ballard, it's horrible. Oh, what? What happened? Are you injured? Is anything no, broken? No, no, it's over. It's over. Christmas is oh. over. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's true. And it makes me sad too that Christmas is over. What are you gonna miss most about Christmas? Oh, the presents and the lights and the trees. <laughs> it is nice to have decorations up and I love getting Christmas cards from people, but there is something that doesn't have to end just because Christmas is over. You mean we can keep the tree up all year long? Um, no, but one of the biggest things about Christmas is remembering how God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Oh, and that doesn't have to end up Christmas. Exactly, Phil. We have just finished celebrating Christmas. It's sometimes hard when a special day like that comes to an end. Right, Phil? Yup. And we can get pretty down when it's all over. But there's some things that actually don't have to end once that special day is over. Let's look back at some of our Bible stories from this month to remind us about this month's big idea. There was a story when Moses helped to free the Israelites. God had put the Egyptians through 10 plagues before Pharaoh would listen and set them free. Ah, that's a lot of plagues. Yes, you see, God heard their cries for help and he listened to them and got them out of Egypt. Then we saw how God provided for the Israelites as they wandered through the desert. First, he gave them manna like flakes of bread that rained from the sky. Ah! Then he provided them meat. Oh, watch out, Phil! Ah. Then he gave them water when they were thirsty. Woo! Come out. 
You see, God showed them that even though they were complaining and didn't deserve it, He provided for them. Then the last story we learned about was about the Ten Commandments. That was when God gave Moses ten rules for the people to follow. To make them different from the other people. Mm -hmm. To show them that they were God's people. That's right. And even more than that, they realized that they couldn't follow every single rule perfectly. And what they really needed was God's help. Through the Ten Commandments, God shows us how much we need Him. You can see through our Bible stories just how much God loves us. He shows His love with all the things that He did for His people, and it shows how much He loves you. And when Jesus was around, He showed His love in many ways. Try to think of ways to show the people you love just how much they mean to you this week. Even though it is right to have special days and God wants us to celebrate those things, we don't need to have a Mother's Day or a Father's Day to tell your parents that you love them. You don't need to have a special day like Thanksgiving to remember all the things that you're so thankful for. And you don't really need to have a special day for Christmas to remember how much God loves you. You see, it doesn't have to end when that day is over. Every day we can remember this because of just how amazing God's love is. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. And once we have Jesus in our hearts, we belong to Jesus and we will always be his. He will listen to us, provide for us, and is there whenever we need him. That's something to celebrate every single day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I'd just like to thank you that we have special days that we get to celebrate and be joyful, Lord. But I pray that we don't forget all these good things, Lord, especially how much God loves us every single day. And to be thankful for those things that you've blessed us with, Lord, and to be thankful for Jesus. And I pray this in your precious name. Amen. Oh, Mom. And you know what, Phil? I'll be getting ready for our next celebration. I'm right there with you, Miss Pauline. Have a happy ah! new year. Bye. And that's all we have for you today. Although I'm pretty sad this is the last Sunday with the theme of outer space. I like being dog. Kind of hard going back to being Library Larry. Maybe I should just keep it, you know? Zog Markeski has a nice ring to it. So long, Space Rangers. Zog Markeski out. <laughs>